Hey you guys, it is Brogan and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I had originally planned on doing something different, but the weather is just not working out for me. So I thought I would just sit down today and do the get to know you tag or get to know me tag because I've posted like 20 something videos on this channel, but um, not really one where I've just actually given you guys a chance to get to know me and get to know who I am. So I thought what better way to do that then through the get to know me tag. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy it. And if you're interested in getting to know me, then please keep watching. Um, I actually don't have a middle name and neither does my mom. Only the boys in our family have middle names. I'm not really sure why, but at the same time, I think my name wouldn't be as cool if I had a middle name. So <laughs> I'm happy with the way it is. My favorite color is probably navy blue um, and maybe green and yellow. Yeah, navy blue, green, yellow. I think, oh, that's four Rogan. Yeah, I think those are probably my, my top three just because, I don't know, they've always just stuck out to me. My first best friend, if I have to think back to literally when I was like a fetus, <laughs> um, I think her name was Magdalena. Uh, we were in pre-primary school, pre-pre-primary school together, yeah, and she was a little Afrikaans girl with a pixie cut and she was so cute and I actually have no idea where she is today because <laughs> that was like literally 20 years ago, so. I am 163 centimeters or 5 foot 4, so I am quite short. I'm a bit torn between cats and dogs, I'm definitely a bit of both. On one hand I have my dogs that I love so much, but at the end of the day I am a loyal, loyal cat person. So I think, I think cats. I was in an all girls school, so there was always uh, some weird times you all had, but I think the funniest moment I can just remember like off the top of my head is there was like a really scary teacher that no one liked and um, we had her for substitution the one day. So my class and I were like lined up outside her class and she came out um, and started shouting at us because we were all talking in the corridors and um, she threatened to give us defaulters which were like bad slip kind of thing for bad behavior and we all just looked down and she was barefoot <laughs> she had the ugliest feet I've ever seen in my entire life and we all just burst out laughing um, and we got into so much trouble because obviously we were already in shit for speaking and then we were laughing at her and it was just a mess so I think that was one of the funniest moments I had in high school um, I have been quite blessed in my life. Uh, I have a dad that has traveled a lot. It's his like passion. He literally makes money to travel. That's like his thing. So um, my brother and I have been pretty lucky. We have traveled to most countries. Um, well, at least most of the big ones. Um, I've been to Asian countries. I've been all throughout Europe. I've been to Australia. I've been to parts of Africa. I've been to America. So it's been a wild ride. I am currently in my final year of university, so yes, I have. Uh, my favorite subject in high school was probably arts, just because it was kind of like a really chilled uh, period. We could just go and be creative, and there was like pressure to do a specific kind of work, like we all could all paint or draw or um, yeah, chat shit with the teachers. I always had really cool art teachers though, so um, that was definitely always a bonus. And my worst, uh, my worst subject in high school was probably maths and Afrikaans. Um, I'm not good with numbers. <laughs> Don't give me numbers. Um, I did actually mathematical literacy, uh, which was like the lower grade math um, in high school, just because I was literally too stupid to understand like half of what they were saying most of the time. And Afrikaans, I was just terrible at. I'm, I can't, I still can't speak it to this day. Even though it is our official like second language, I'm. I don't know, I can't speak it, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm gonna do alcoholic and non-alcoholic. <laughs> so my favorite drink is definitely iced coffee. Oh, I can drink that any time of the day. Iced coffee and water, probably. And favorite alcoholic drink uh, will have to be gin and tonic. My favorite animals besides dogs and cats uh, I'm obsessed with big cats like lions, jaguars, tigers and 
I love otters. <laughs> I know that's so random. Otters and pandas, I think, are just the cutest things ever, and I would like love one <laughs> in my life, but obviously, that's not really possible. My favorite perfume mm, probably be Please Pleats by Izumiyaki. It is the most beautiful scent. It's like really nice and sweet, but it's not too overbearing. So, yeah, that's probably my favorite. Uh, tea or coffee? Well, I'm currently drinking tea, <laughs> but I definitely, I'm a bit of both. I, there's days where I feel like tea and there's days where I feel like coffee. I don't really think I could choose between the two. They are both amazing, but um, yeah, I love green tea, normal tea and coffee, so. Oh, I've thought about this a lot and it's so funny because I don't even know if I want children, but I mean, I feel like every girl's thought about a name for <laughs> their kids. Um, if I ever had to have children, I would definitely have a boy and a girl, um, just because that's how I grew up with my brother and I, and I think it's like the coolest dynamic if you have a boy and a girl, um, and they're like kind of similar age, there's always really good relationships there. Um, and for a boy, I'd want to name him Jace, like J-A-C-E, and for a girl, I'd love a girl named Senna, so Jace and Senna. Um, I don't play sports anymore, <laughs> I stopped as soon as I left high school, um, just because it was kind of like uh, mandatory there, so I didn't really have a choice. But throughout my life, I played hockey, netball, swimming, um, I did cross country for like a few days, I <laughs> don't know if that counts. Um, and yeah, I think that's all. My favorite book of all times, if I have to be so honest, is Looking for Alaska by John Green. And I know it was like super overhyped at one point, but I just absolutely love that book. I love everything it stands for. I loved the storyline, it made me cry. Um, I actually named my cat after it, her name is Alaska. And I don't know, it's just always a book that's really stuck with me. And I would still highly recommend it to anyone, so. God, I have so many. Uh, probably Shawnee Grimmond and Michael Finch and Lily Brown and all of them. I love them. I think they are honestly the funniest people. Bella Fiore. Um, I have a thing for Australian YouTubers. I just, I don't know. I think they are so funny. Um, I love Kathleen Lights. Um, I love Shane Dawson. Um, I love Kendall Ray, especially her and her husband are so interesting to listen to. They always do like podcasts and missing people cases and stuff like that. So yeah, I think, I think that's all of them. My favorite movie um, would probably be 500 Days of Summer and Easy A. <laughs> just cause I don't know, they were just like, they just, you know, those movies just resonated with me and I have watched them over a hundred times probably each and oh the notebook and the vow wow i can watch those movies over and over and over again and i will still cry every single time they are just so beautiful so i am currently single <laughs> uh, my ideal first date would probably be um maybe going somewhere really nice for coffee or tea because there's not too much pressure to like order food or eat or yeah it's always like a really nice controlled environment you guys can get to know each other one on one um, I think being able to talk a lot on the first date is really good um, because that just kind of like uh, opens the door for whatever else comes next so if you find that the conversation is easy and it flows then that's really a good sign for me so I would definitely always choose like a really nice coffee date for a first date uh, in my life, I have had two two boyfriends. Um, as I said, I speak English fluently. Obviously, that is my first language. Um, I look. I can't speak Afrikaans, but I can understand it. So I don't know if that counts. Um, otherwise, no. I did try to do Spanish for a semester in university, but I was absolutely terrible at it. <laughs> it is something I still would really love to learn and pick up again, and I'd also love to learn Mandarin. Uh, yes, I have one older brother. His name is Mitchell. He is a year older than me, and we are super close. I also have two step siblings who are a lot younger than me, and um, yeah, I don't really see them very often. Uh, my fashion sense ranges from a whole lot of stuff. I can be super classy if I want to, but at the same time I can also dress 
like a 12 year old boy most of the time so I love Orange is the New Black I love How to Get Away with Murder that is what I'm currently watching that and This Is Us um, This Is Us is just the most beautiful beautiful show in the whole world like every episode I cry like it's just so moving and so pretty so that's definitely one of my favorite shows at the moment um, I am a loyal Apple user I have a Mac and an iPhone and I don't think that'll ever change <laughs> one of my bad habits um, this sounds super weird but if I'm wearing makeup um, and it's like say the end of the day and I haven't taken it off I start to pull in my eyelashes to get the mascara off and sometimes I end up pulling like four eyelashes out and it's so sore and that is like a terrible habit I have um, so actually at the moment I have eyelash extensions just because it stops me from doing that otherwise guys that is it you enjoyed and maybe got to know me a little better and this was really fun I actually thoroughly enjoyed it and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment and tell me some facts about you guys if you'd like i'd love to know um but otherwise i will see you guys next week thank you so much for watching um